Welcome to the journey of love and light. This is a timeless reading for the collective. If you're coming across this reading, it very well could be you. As I set the intention that spirit only put this message in front of those who need to hear it and see it. This is going to be a freestyle reading, so I hope you like the um, uh, way that it's set up. If you do, please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. It's greatly appreciated. The first card out is Watchers, and it says Transpersonal. It looks like there is um, a lot of light coming from the universe in this card. The card is also the number 60 card, which is the number 6, talks about balance, equal give and take. It looks like that there is definitely some personal transformation that is occurring for those who are coming to this reading. The next card out is the Dragon's Horde, and it talks about protecting the future. But this card is coming in the recent past. The number three could mean something, but I believe that what this is about is that um, you have something that you have been um, watching over and taking care of, and um, you have spent a lot of time, effort, and energy on it, but it may be feeling like whatever that is is slipping away from you now. And that is what is really causing this personal transformation that you're currently experiencing. And the next card out, the number 32, the jeweled web, also reduces down to five, talks about change. But it also talks about interconnectivity between others and the universe. So it could be that um, you are connected to other energies that might be um, part of the reason you are um transforming your life at this time the horseman herald or change further confirms you know that there is change coming in your future this change is going to be welcome change as it is taking you in the direction of your dreams and where destiny has defined your next purpose and path the next card out is the 39 card. It talks about it, me talks. It says repairing the mind, body, and spirit. So as you're going through this personal transformation and you know things are you know um, changing and um, the past is slipping away, know that it is time for you to truly integrate all of your beautiful qualities and um, truly cleanse and release all of those things that are no longer serving your greatest and highest good. The next card out, the tiny house talks about, uh, the tidy house talks about clarity and organization. So one of the things that may, you may need to be doing in preparation for this transformation is really cleaning out the closets and clutter in your life, making sure that, you know, you're doing your spring cleaning in preparation for new growth in your life at this time. The 16 card, the empty well, says that it is time to replenish. So it could be that these things in your life, in your um, in your environment are draining you. And that is why it's so important for you to um, really tidy things up and get things um, in order around yourself so that you can really replenish yourself and no longer feel like that you're giving from an empty well. And the next card out is... The uh, 51 card talks about stars in the sky and limitless possibilities. So know that as you're going through this transformation and this change in your life and that you're really giving, you know, yourself the love, appreciation and attention that you need, you know, you will really put yourself in the energy uh, for attracting just unlimited possibilities and great things into your life. And the final card out is the 27 card. This talks about heart, home, and passion. So what I'm sensing is, is that, you know, this is also to, uh, 27, it reduces down to nine. Um, so this is basically the end of a cycle that you're coming to. And, you know, whatever transformation, whatever things that you have been, you know, trying to hold on to from your past, you're going to be finally releasing that in the now. And as you do, it's going to really create and open up these new possibilities for you. And as I said, you're going to be moving swiftly into this new state and 
you know, really finding your place. And, and what I'm seeing is that, you know, this heart home is you're going to be in a place that you truly love. So, you know, whatever is keeping you from loving the place that you're in now, you're going to be clearing that clutter. You're going to be clearing, you know, that energy, those vibes. Once you do that, you'll be moving forward towards this new solid foundation and happy home. I hope this was useful for you on your journey of love and light. If it was, please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel on your way out as it truly helps grow the channel. Peace and blessings on your journey.